today we are going to be putting a hole in my basement wall. Uh, I am getting geothermal put in and one of the things I had to do is cut a hole from my basement wall into my cistern. So the house was set up uh, three bedroom and then there was a breezeway that led out to the garage. Well the garage is now a family room and the breezeway has been turned into a foyer and then there's a 700 square foot addition off the back of that. So as it stands right now I have two HVAC units. One is a, a heat pump with electric backup and the other one is a heat pump with propane backup and I have scents in my house so uh, it goes on my electric panel and I can see what all my electric pulls and from what I understand my two units are costing me about 49% of my uh, electric bill so one of the reasons uh, one's an old 10 seer the other one's a 12 seer and or 14 seer I can't remember but they're just so energy efficient right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in ge geothermal or have it put in because I don't have the, the tools necessary to do that. Um, so I'm going to cut some holes into the wall and then I'll do a time lapse. That way you guys can see this, how the saw works. So what the saw is, is it is a two blade saw, okay? And it's pretty thin so you can go pretty deep into the wall with it. And then you take a pry bar and you stick it in, break it out, and then that way you can go even deeper into the wall. So this I rented from Ted's Rental. It is a Husqvarna Model K3000. Uh, it's called Cut and Break. Uh, it is electric because I am inside my house. So what I have to do is uh, my wife is going to come down and actually help me and what she's going to do is I have to turn water on so the blade stays cool and so what she's going to do is have the shop vac ready so when I'm cutting this she can actually be sucking up the water so we don't make a mess in the basement. Uh, the area we're in is unfinished but right back here Behind me is our laundry room, which is finished, tiled, drywall, the whole nine yards. So I'd rather not make a huge mess. Um, I probably could do it by myself. If I just put the uh, hose down to the ground and, and uh, just turned it on. So we'll see how easy it goes. So I got my golf cart out here so I can dump concrete into this and then take it down to my dump site but luckily I have a uh, doggy door and was able to run my hose through it so it's pretty hot outside so this keeps it still cool in here so there's my shot vac to keep the water from going everywhere and this is the wall I'm going to cut. So there used to be a duct that went through here, but I took it off the main unit because the main unit could not keep up with this side of the house and that side of the house. So what I did is ran it from the other one over to the existing stuff. And this is where we're gonna be heading into. It's a little dark right now, but we'll get some better pictures of it later. thing I'm worried about is up here at the corners it's kind of hard to get but 
I got pretty much 90% of that corner. And then this one went all the way to the floor. So I just gotta do a little finish work on that, but I'll wait until I cut some more lines in and that way makes this concrete movable. So as this thing cuts, it can only go so deep. So if you see right in here, it can only go, what, maybe three, four inches deep. So it can plunge cut up to 14 inches, but here's what you got to do to get it. And I've already cut this deeper, but I left this to show you. So it comes with this little pry bar, and you just break off the... Uh, And then where that's broke at, then you can go deeper now. And there it just falls out. So you just gotta keep cutting a little bit and then breaking a little bit. But all in all, so far, the first cut took me a little bit longer just because I was trying to figure out the the tool itself so now that I figured it out it actually goes a little bit quicker I think probably took what 40 minutes honey to cut the first hole yeah, probably longer. Or, or longer yeah now we did have to stop take the bucket of concrete out dump it and dump the shop back twice and I think it's only a 10 yeah 10 gallon shot back so I don't think it's too difficult but what I'm doing is just breaking a little bit and then cutting a little bit and breaking a little bit it is a kind of time consuming process but it's way better than using a single single uh, electric saw like I was going to luckily the the guys at the rental place cared enough and they said well what are you doing I said oh I'm cutting out a basement wall he was like well I got a perfect tool for you and I think I said this before but it was hundred and fifty dollars to rent for a full day for 24 hours so I can't complain As you can see, I was pretty soaking wet from this job. Um, that soil did spray uh, a lot of stuff all over me, but uh, all in all, I'm pretty sure it did a really, really good job. I was really impressed with it. Uh, it took us about five hours to cut this hole out. It's about two feet wide. Um, and I mean, all I gotta do is pull out the concrete later on. Uh, I'm gonna take it down. It actually rained and I did a previous job where the backyard is still muddy so uh, I would rent this in a heartbeat again if you ever have to uh, cut a hole in your basement wall or any any wall actually uh, it makes very easy removal of the concrete um, I was very impressed with it but like I said it did make me a little wet and other than that it worked really well Hopefully this video uh, was useful for you. Uh, if you could, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will be doing more reviews as I do projects around the house. So I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. And look forward to giving you another one.